With your boy Matt Jackson, aka Ja Killer. Lick my plate gaming and Lord Atheist. Y'all gonna out. We have got you a banger pay per view tonight. I'm gonna send you down to 716 Wings, Danville, Virginia, in front of Skate Town, USA. Go check them out. Go ask for the stoner sub. Tell them that your boys, the highest fuck podcast, sent you. Uh, Stoner sandwich, get the freaking pepperoni and the steak and cheese. Yo, they're fucking the main place to go eat. Anyway, you can host your own little deal in the back and all that stuff called beforehand. They'll do it. Um, exotic vapes and things over there behind, uh, yeah, behind the sheets. Um, go check them out. They got the lowest prices in Danville for vapes. It's pretty good because there's not a lot of people. With Good deals. Cane Creek got good ones too. Like I think it's Cane Creek. Yeah, over here um, near Mountain Hill and uh, near Kentucky, all that, that food line out there. I think it's Cane Creek. Go check them out. They're, they're pretty cheap too. Um, but anyway, so uh, me and Joe Cool went out last night. Well, I took my son out first because I had to wait on him to get off work. Uh, he was doing counseling last night with a client, and uh, so we we went to the. Uh, me and my son went to the Monster Mash down in town, uh, where the community market's at. We had a blast down there. We waited in line for like an hour and a half to get into the thing so you could, you know, go around the car to car and just get a... You just... You pretty much... If, if you can make it through the line and you're cool and waiting and stuff, uh, yeah, then, yeah, I think it's the best place to go. You pretty much knock everything out in one little place. You get through there. You go through the thing. The kids get their candy. They get hooked up really a lot. I mean, my kid came home with a lot of candy. He was even able, we were even able to come up with a bag for uh, his sister, my daughter, because uh, she doesn't she doesn't really like going out in public, and she doesn't like people that much. And, you know, she, it's, it's fine. Like, it's cool. Um and so what we, what me and Maynard does, my son, me and my son, every year we uh, we basically go trick or treating for you know, uh, whatever candy's given to me, uh, I hold back, I hold it back, I save it, uh, and then I just give it to my uh, daughter. Uh, and so I'll probably see her today at some point, and so I'll give her her bag of goodies, which we got her two books. They had free books being given out. We did that. Whoop whoop. And if you're a juggalo, a juggalette. And you're not doing for your kids. You're you're not a you're not a person. You know what I'm saying? You're a piece of shit. You got to be a good parent. I don't care where what you are. I don't care if you're gothic, emo. I don't, I just don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care if you're a satanist. I don't care if you're whatever. I don't give a shit what you are. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you've had a criminal past, whatever, and if you've changed your life over for your children, I think children are the world, and they're worth everything that we can put into them and everything that we do with them. So, my son had a blast last night. Let me talk to you. We did things that he wanted to do. You know, things that he's been wanting to do. Uh, so, we went to the Monster Bash. We knocked out the candy thing. We went to McDonald's. We tried to get a boo bucket. They were out. Uh, so, that was one thing that he was wanting that didn't get to get happen. But, um, we also, after we went to McDonald's, you know, um, we went to the Monster Bash. We got picked up from Joe. Joe, Joe Cool is the man. He's the co-host here on the show. Uh, he came and picked us up. He's basically the he's basically my he's he's my best friend he's my brother and he's basically my son's uncle and so we just we went to McDonald's we had uh, we got something to eat Maynard got a uh, a pumpkin spice latte or whatever they're called and I got that new Dolce or whatever it's called uh, shout out to the Mexicans though for real for real that drink is amazing bro um or Spanish drink or uh, however you call it um. anyway amazing drink I had some nugs he had a Whopper bacon and cheese or whatever it's called number two. Uh, Joe got something to eat, blah, 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 and we, we, we journeyed out for an adventure. Before we get into JCW Devil's Night, pay-per-view, people, I just wanted to tell you a little story. We go out, 
We got this thing planned that we planned last weekend for Maynard because he's into this creepy stuff. He's into the macabre. He's into the, you know, having an experience and just experiencing life and just and all that. And so we took him to the Devil's Bridge in Eden. We took him all the way to the Devil's Bridge, which ain't that far from here. We went to the Devil's Dr Bridge. We chilled for like 30 minutes, whatever. We chilled for a good minute. We took some pictures, blah, blah, blah. He wanted some pictures on the bridge, some video footage, blah, blah, blah. We smoked a joint on the bridge. Like, it was just a good time. Like, of course, we smoked away from my kid. My kid was adventuring and doing his thing and whatever. He's 14, so he was out doing his thing. And we, off to the side, we went and did that off to the side or whatever. But anyway, so uh, so he wasn't around us or whatever. Like, whatever. But, like, it was a fun time. And weed's not that big of a deal anyway. But whoop, whoop. If, you're, if, you're, if you were out last night for your kids... And it was all for the kids last night. And you got a little bit out of it as, as well. You got to dress up maybe um, or whatever you got to do. Maybe you had some beverages for Halloween. Maybe you had some, you know, whatever. You did your job. And whoop, whoop, and congratulations to all the parents, all the juggalo parents, all the, the, all the, everybody, every parent out there that did their thing last night and went out there on Devil's Night and freaking had a blast. Because we did, we did. He's got some good-ass pictures. And we, the Devil's, uh, and, and after after Devil's Bridge, and we went and did this on the 31st. So we did the Halloween around 10 or 11, whatever. But after Devil's Bridge, we took him to Gravity Hill. He's never been to Gravity Hill either. We haven't been able to take him. So we went to Gravity Hill, telling the story. And we turn the car off. That motherfucker moves backwards. He's like, what the hell's going on? Blah, blah, blah. We let the car go back further than we usually do, right? And it was just, it was, it's just a great moment to have with your children. Just taking them, doing something simple. Costed us nothing to go do all the things we did. The only thing that really cost us was like something to eat. whoop de doo But we're going to get into this devil's night. I'm sorry I take it up y'all a bunch of y'all's time with the little story I had, but really, let's say that was like six minutes of like whatever. Anyway, so we're gonna get into the juggalo stuff. I want to give a, a a shout out to the person uh, that actually uploaded his uh, experience there. He went live and streamed it, and uh, I wasn't able to find it anywhere. Um, and like I couldn't get trailer, so we couldn't get trailer. Um, didn't have the money on my account at the moment to be able to get it and whatever's fucked, so we didn't set that up yet. We set it up, but we just didn't go through with it. I was like, well, fuck it, I'll find something. I'll find someone that's uploaded or something. But we did. We found somebody. IP2 Juggalos. At IP2 Juggalos. Thanks, man. Thanks for that. Um, he's a big guy. He's got like over a thousand subscribers or whatever. Big shout out to him for streaming it live. Thank you. Whoop, whoop. Now I can actually you know, talk, and uh, I can actually review the show and stuff, so thanks to uh, IP2 Juggalos, uh, big nin uh, big thank you to you, Ninja, great shit, uh, and since we're on the format, this was on October 30th, 2024, the wind might, you might hear the wind, I'm outside, I think it's good to sit outside sometimes, bug it, it's on a Wednesday, and it's the Devil's Night, so, first match in, First match in is Richie Bitchy Boy with Jeeves, and uh, which was cool in the live footage. Uh, Jeeves actually came outside with all the juggalos and all the fans and smoked a joint with the man that was recording. Uh, so that was dope. Uh, so we got Richie Bitchy Boy versus, and this was an oh my god moment because I wasn't expecting him to be here. It was Jake Crist of the Crist Brothers. Amazing match. Okay, just an amazing match because Jake Crist was in it. Let's put it that way. Richie Bitchy Boy Jeeves wins the match. Now I don't know. I, I just don't get the booking on this. I don't see Joe. I don't see it, Joe. Bruce, Violent J. I don't get it. I don't get why you would bring Jake Crist on so, so he can lose to Richie Bitchy Nobody. Now I get it. In your juggaloism, in your juggalo company, I know he's probably, you know, a main staple motherfucker. You know, I know he's a legend and got out him, whatever. But like yeah, whatever. So, fuck that decision. Sorry, Joe Bruce. We love you over here. We love you, Violent J, but goddamn. Who, who, who books damn Richie Bitchy Boy to, uh, to pin Jake Chris? What's up, Kiki? Uh, what's up, Zarlo? What's up, Bubby? Anyway, so, that was a great match. Oh, my God moment. First, oh, my God moment of the night. Um, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Hit a comment down there. Next match, second match in was Congo Kong, and I'm always excited to see Congo Kong. Ever since he was in uh, TNA and all that, and like he was, you know, been doing some big things for a while. And he's been a juggalo for the longest time. Um, and he faces, and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on with the booking of this? So we take somebody from the jungle just so they can fight an Italian pizza maker. So we have Luigi Primo. 
versus Congo Kong, and this was uh, this was something else. Like you know, Luigi Primo, he uses his dough and stuff, and um, and he beats you up with the dough, and he spins the dough and does all this stuff while wrestling, which is very talented, I guess. He just beats him with it, eats him with it, like blah blah blah, and like has him distracted and all this other stuff, and then you know, just it it became a squash match after he was fucking around and stuff, and then Congo Kong just destroyed the man. So uh Yeah. So Congo Kong destroys Luigi Primo. Joey Janela comes out and attacks Primo and talks his fucking bullshit. He talks a bunch of shit. He gets thrown. He gets a lot of garbage thrown at him. It, it was crazy. Um, and we're gonna be. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be talking about. We'll probably do live Detroit separate too. But this, I don't know. I was thinking about putting live and live with Detroit in the same pod. But I don't want to make it so long where y'all don't feel like watching it all. But um, George, you know, he's bitch talking. But anyway, then we have the Hall of Fame ceremony, which was pretty. It was alright. We had uh, Mickey Knuckles comes out. We got Mickey Knuckles, and then their, their legends were, I guess, it was the legends of it was Too Tough Tony and Tracy Smothers, in which Mickey Knuckles uh, received that uh, reward for Tracy Smothers or whatever. Um, so that was a cool little ceremony to get to see those legends. Uh, third match in is Facade versus Mosh Pit Mike, which was, what was he this time? Fuck. Oh, a gym teacher. Uh... And then Simon Gotch versus Tarzan Duran versus, oh my fucking God, I could not believe they got him. But they got the Soul Taker. They got the Undertaker, well, the fake Undertaker. The guy that's the Soul Taker, no lives matter, dude. I love it. Versus, yeah, well, this was crazy because we got Kane, right? We got the fake Kane, which we thought he was pink Kane, and then he was yellow Kane, and now he's white and black. Now he's white and black, and now they call him Coke cocaine cocaine okay they call him cocaine what the fuck bro so this match was pretty interesting and i like this match because it was just all over the place and it was just kind of confusing too because i didn't really know what was going on i didn't know i, I, I really didn't know if it was eliminations or first one went, you know whatever it's a six-man match you never know what these uh cocaine won but uh the, th the way it happened was everybody else was out of the ring everybody else was knocked out of the ring they were out they're out laying out, whatever. It came down to being the soul taker and cocaine. Well, cocaine tried to fucking choke slam him. He couldn't. Then he pulls out this baggie out of his trunks, which is fake cocaine, people. Fake cocaine. And dusts his face with it. He throws it all over his face. He hulks up a little bit. Then he's got enough strength to fucking choke slam soul taker, which is like six, seven feet tall. You know, he's a big motherfucker. Uh, but goddamn, um, it was, it was crazy, you know? Like, we had cocaine on Solwyn last year, which we... I'm still trying to find Sawin. I don't know where the hell to find Sawin to watch. I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't know. Without you know, like trying to find someone who's uploaded it or whatever, so I can watch it because I just don't. I don't think it's worth me having to pay for it after the fact. You know, we're still. I'm still trying to get Sawin number two out. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but. Y'all are here for the Juggalo stuff. Anyway, the people that are checking us out, y'all are here for JCW reviews, obviously. Or just for the wrestling reviews in general. Y'all just like hear me talk. Whatever. Um, so, okay, Kane wins. Then we got the fourth match in. We got the Southern Six. Just two of them. Versus Too Tough Tony. And it was two on one the longest time. It was two, two on one the longest time. Then the music hits. James Storm comes out. And you're thinking James Storm's there for the Southern Six. But no, he turns on the Southern Six, joins with Too Tough Tony, and they win the match. It was it was crazy, man. Southern Six was beating down Too Tough Tony for the wall. And it comes out and he fights Southern Six. It was just a great moment there, you know? Too Tough Tony and James Storm getting a win together. James Storm getting a win with Too Tough Tony. Either way, Too Tough Tony got the, a great moment in his life. Uh, and they beat the Southern Six. And it was the other two guys, Salas Mason and the other guy. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, Kerry Morton because... Kerry Morton faces someone else later, and we're going to get to that. The fifth match in, and, and so far, I'm, I'm loving it, and I'm also got my, what the fuck, what the fuck, like, it's a good show, uh, and I had to watch it from a fan's perspective, so I couldn't watch it from the, you know, the professional stance of it, or their, you know, their, you know, whatever, so it was a little different, but it's fine. Uh, women's Battle Royale for... The women's championship to claim, uh, to to uh, to uh, name the first ever JCW women's champion. They've never had a women's champion before. They've never had enough women in the company to actually do that. 
per se. And that's just that's just that's just on and that's not on them as a company. That's just on not having enough women for that. You know, it's just something that happens. Uh, so we had a bunch of women in there that I don't know who their names are because they haven't been presented on the show. There was no Christina Marie. There was no people that I actually know. And the only people that I actually know was Danny Mo. They said Richie Morris, I believe. Mickey Knuckles was in it, obviously. It was cool for a battle royale. The last two people in it, and now once it gets down to the last two people, it's a pinfall. Submission types. Then it's a match. It goes from being a battle royale toss over the ropes to the last two people having to pin each other and getting the match done, right? Came down to Danny Moe and Mickey motherfucking Knuckles. You want to get knocked out? Call her a bitch. Call her a cunt. Call her, you tell her you fucking hate her. Bam, punch in the face. I love her. She's a badass motherfucker. But the new champ and the first ever JCW champion, which is fucking groundbreaking right now, motherfuckers. Danny motherfucking Mo, man. Danny Mo is a fucking women's champion. I'm so fucking glad. I'm happy. I sound like a dumbass sitting here sounding like uh, Nick Gage, but whatever. Like, fucking great match for that. For her to be the one, first women's champion. I love it. Um, sixth match. Now, we have six, six, six. Match. We had the sixth match in the fucking card. And this is what everybody's been waiting for this match, right? A lot of people's probably been waiting for this match, like begging for this match to happen, right? Baba Thunder, aka WWE X WWE NXT star, Commander Aziz or Daba Kato, right? Versus Painful Paul. Now we've been waiting for the Battle of the Giants for a fucking minute, right? Waiting for it for a fucking minute. And it was a fucking squash match, basically. This match wasn't even really that much of a match. You know what I'm saying? Like Daba Daba uh Daba Thunder won. Like they built this motherfucker up with live shows, JCW Lunacy, live shows and regular shows. And they built it up for what? For what? What'd you build that up for, Violent? What the fuck's going on with that match? I mean, it was okay. I'm glad Boba Thunder won, but Jesus Christ, man. Yes, whatever. <sighs> this next match, I'm still... It's like, what the fuck, dude? Couldn't you have found somebody else to fight them? Instead of the same fucking matches all the time? But anyway, seventh match, Bangin' Matthews, or Bangin' Matthews, whatever you call these fucking jobber boys. I, used, I was calling jobber boys. Now they got names. Bang and Matthews, they're the tag team champions at the at the at the point. They're at the point. They go up against the backseat boys, which just had the titles, which just lost to them. They come out Johnny Cashmere, blah blah blah. Too tough Tony comes out uh to save the backseat boys at the end because see, the backseat boys win the match. They win their titles back, and then they then Bang and Matthews some manager comes out, it might have been Cashmere, and they just beat the shit out of them, and blah, 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 with their little Christian stupid-ass fucking gimmick. Too Tough Tony comes out to save the backseat boys, blah, 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 blah. It, it was fucking whatever. I mean, it was a good tag team match. We'll give it that. It was good for a tag team match, but I mean, like, I don't know. I can care less. Backseat boys retain their belts. Whoop, whoop. The eighth match is the match is one of the matches that I've been waiting for like the most off this whole card, and it's Kerry Morton versus my man, my dude, the, mo the America's most wanted Nick Nemeth, Mister Dolph Ziggler himself. Four, just just fighting. I mean, he's the TNA champion at the moment, so I thought that was pretty cool that TNA is letting him go over to JCW and do some shit. That was fuck. That's cool, you know. Uh, so, Nick N is a great match, by the way. Nick Nemeth versus Kerry Morton, for what I could see from the fans' perspective and not, like, you know, professionally recorded or whatever. It was a good match. It was what you would get out of Kerry Morton and Dolph Ziggler or Nick Nemeth. It was a good match. Quality. Southern Six comes out uh, to, you know, jump Nick Nemeth and, you know, whatever, destroy him, whatever the fuck. Uh, next thing you know, JBL comes out. Everybody's like, who the hell is that? Blah, blah, blah. Was JBL comes out. And everybody thinks that JBL is there to join up the Southern Six. Oh, he's one of the members. Blah, blah, blah. Well, he doesn't come out for that. Next thing you know, he turns. Not even really turns. He comes out there because he's with Nick Nemeth. A lot of people don't know this in JCW, that Nick Nemeth and him are a thing at the moment. And so... He comes out and he clotheslines everybody to help Nick Nemeth at the end because Nick Nemeth was getting beat up and blah, 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 and being taken advantage of. So JBL came out and clotheslined everybody. He ended up clotheslining Kerry Morton as well, so um, sorry about your damn luck, Kerry Morton. So that was fucking cool. We had another oh my god moment with JBL. Uh, and it's just phenomenal to see Nick Nemeth and Kerry Morton, two guys that kind of are similar in a lot of ways. Uh, 
and whatever, and it's just good. Ninth match in, we have JCW's United States Championship, or whatever they're calling it, versus, it's uh, Caleb Connolly is the champ, and we hear the Dirty B music hit, and the, bro, ding, 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 and you know, the song going off, and here comes Matt Riddle, here comes Matt Riddle, the rude dude Matt Riddle, and uh, so we get Matt Riddle versus Caleb Connolly for the title, it was a great match. Matt, uh, Matt Riddle went for the submission move in the beginning. He didn't get it. Of course, like, usually he can just, like, hit you with one move and you're done. But, um, it didn't happen like that. Caleb Conley ended up winning the match, which is kind of like hocus pocus, joke is wild bullshit. But, uh, yeah, uh, kind of bullshit on that. Uh, but Matt Riddle's probably not there for the long haul. He's probably just there to have that match with Caleb to, like, bring the numbers up or, or to do good, to, to, to help JCW's Devil's Night numbers. Um, so, hats off to you, Matt Riddle, for at least playing the game. We had Rodriguez, the guy that used to call out Alberto Del Rio, which we don't like Alberto Del Rio over here because he's a piece of shit. But, uh, what's his name? Something, Rodriguez, you know his name. He comes out there to introduce the, the, the last match is the 10th match. It's the JCW title match. That's what everybody's been waiting on. So he comes out there and he gives a great introduction introdu and introduces Mecha Wolf, of course. So he, he, he introduces Mecha Wolf. Mecha Wolf comes out there. He comes out. It's awesome to see Mecha Wolf in different makeup. He just was looking cool. Willie Mack, of course, is in the match. And Matt Cross, the world champion of JCW. This match was great. This match was great. This was awesome. I don't have much notes on it. I know there was something else that happened after it, but somebody attacked somebody and No no no, that's that's like, like I say Mecha Wolf got eliminated first. It was an elimination match. So Mecha Wolf gets eliminated first. Right. I didn't write down the winner, but I know who won. So Mecha Wolf gets eliminated first. Then it's down to Willie Mac and Matt Cross for the title now. Right? Well, I don't even know why they let Matt Cross win the belt in the first place, because Willie Mac just wins it back. And now Willie Max, our world champion again. So now we start all over from the beginning of this whole format podcast. We're all the way back to the first episode of JCW with Willie Mac being a champion. So we just had Matt Cross for a little bit, and that was it. So maybe Matt Cross didn't care, and he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take it for a little bit. I mean, I've been wanting to be the champion, and if that's how I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it that way. So, I mean, whatever. So Willie Mac wins. So great match there. Devil's Night. Amazing show. Amazing show. And what's next is JCW Lunacy live from Detroit, but I don't know if I want to put that on here. We're going to check the time and how long this is first. 22 minutes on this, so I mean, maybe we'll we'll sneak in live in Detroit, because I really don't feel like making two videos. This is just going to be Devil's Night and live from Detroit probably, so we'll, we'll check you in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Holla, 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 whoop, whoop. And the format is out, like Elvis Presley. Thank y'all for watching and joining in, and thanks for the likes and subscriptions, all that stuff. Y'all like and comment, the format is out, like Elvis Presley.